Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm not sure who's in here yet. Uh, this is Chris Hybert, Chris Ballinger, a.k.a. Hybert the Rapper. It's been like six to eight months since I went live on Facebook, something like that. So I figured it's time to, to check in and see how y'all doing and talk about some different things. Uh, let me know if you're in here. I could wait a little while to get some traffic. I'm just going to ramble on for a while, talk about some music, to see how y'all doing. Um, like I said, it's been a good minute since I've been on here. Uh, I wasn't even going to do it, but um, finally got the nerve up. Let me know if y'all uh, y'all can hear this, y'all see me. I hate to ramble on for an hour and nobody's on here. <laughs> I'm trying to go live, let me know if y'all see me. What up y'all? Let me know if you in here. Let me know if y'all can see me. What's up, y'all? I've been trying to go live for a little while. My Wi-Fi been messed up. Um, I figured it's finally time I go live. I haven't in like six, seven, eight months. It's been a while. Oh yeah, I got this one recording too. I'm going to post it on YouTube later. Um, see, I just want to talk about a lot of stuff. There's obviously a lot of stuff going on in the big wide world. And even on a local level. But uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. But I, I'm not going to rant on that too much. I know y'all sick and tired of hearing about coronavirus and, and all the struggles of the world. Uh, we could touch on a little bit. But I mainly want to talk about music. My music in particular. Some things I got going on in the near future. I want to give some shout outs and some thanks. Um, I got a few notes I want to jot down. I'm waiting for a few people to come on in here. I really appreciate it if you do take time to chill with me on this Wednesday night. Um, I hope everybody's healthy and safe. Hope everybody's staying clear of this whole uh, 
sickness is going around worldwide. Definitely be trying to stay positive through the madness and through the fear, through all the anxiety and the struggles. Like I said, on a local level and then also worldwide, just remember anxiety uh, breaks down your immune system, makes it more likely for you to be sick. So definitely use this time to be making some self self-conscious and health conscious decisions uh, not only exercise in your day-to-day -day life and how you maneuver around your town but also in your diet and uh, your supplements and vitamins and things like that I won't go into that too much just know that it's a good time to make some positive changes and some some good changes in your life for sure and hopefully nature uh, hits reset and we can kind of get back to normal eventually if anybody comes in I'm just gonna be uh, talking about a lot of different things I appreciate any shares any comments any support like always um, I got a lot of things I'm gonna ramble on if you don't stay for the whole hour or, or, or whatever that's cool um, I would like to take this time to uh, to just give my um, condolences to anybody who's been affected by the coronavirus um, whether it be physically and health wise or a loved woman in their family dealing with it or a friend or um, financially if their 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 income is being affected by all this um, there's definitely a lot going on it's a lot to process I'm not going drone on about it um, I just hope the best for everybody and I hope that we can get past this individually and as a nation but anyway so yeah I'm here this is Chris Ballinger aka Hybrid the Rapper aka Chris Hybrid I appreciate y'all tuning in um, one of the things I like to talk about is I wanted to give a shout out and give my utmost uh, grateful acknowledgement because a lot of people that don't know me know that I, I suffered an injury back in um, early December I had a really bad incident happen to me um, I'm not gonna go into too, uh, to too much detail about it but for the most part I just want to say that because of my fans and my friends and my family and my loved ones and people really unsung heroes people out of nowhere that were sending me support and love and um, positive reinforcement I had people bless me financially people br bless me physically with even to laying hands on me and praying for me um, people that I never would have thought and then also people that I have a long history with and a lot of people stepped up in my life and helped me get over a really dark time I found myself seemingly overnight in a very dark place physically and emotionally and psychologically uh, I don't say that lightly December and January were really rough on me especially um, I had a major surgery and I found myself with my reality shaken just like so many y'all out there have have dealt with um, but I just want to say I love y'all to everybody who kept me in their thoughts who prayed for me whether it was online or in my real life I I don't I don't know how to explain where I was at but just know that I'm so much better than where I was and life is good even though the world seems to be in a dark place I'm still maintaining the fact that and before all this hit I was in an even darker place individually and I had some blessings come out of nowhere from a lot of folks and from places that I never would have thought and I just really appreciate it I'm grateful for it I will always remember it um, I'm healing up really good uh, I still got a few little issues um, of course everything got put on hold since this coronavirus sort of uh, took over um, but I'm back to doing music I'm back to recording and uh, I'm on my grind, you know, I, I'm doing a lot. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a lot more active than I was. 
I was essentially bedridden there for a little while. But with that being said, I just want to um, give my thanks to everyone who prayed for me and everyone who showed me love and helped take care of me and bless me, whether you're close family or a complete stranger and you just knew, had a hint of what was going on with me. Um, it was definitely something unpredictable that came out of nowhere and affected basically every aspect of my life and I found myself in a dark place and here it is five months later and it's it's a whole new world for me a whole new mind frame and uh, it definitely is a testament of sometimes when bad things happen to you uh, a loss of a job a loss of a family member a major injury uh, any sort of accident or something major like that seems like sometimes our reality is shaken but in effect, it turns us into a, a more evolved person through the trials. And we all go through them. And we all deal with them in our own way. And some people more so than others. But I'm just blessed to have a lot of people that show me love in so many ways. And I just wanted to give thanks for that. Um, but anyway, you know. Uh, a lot of doom and gloom, death and destruction. I don't want to talk about all that. I just hope y'all are all safe. Keep clean. You know, if you want to make some positive, healthy changes in your life, now is a great time to do it. Yeah, I'm with it. But anyway, so that, that's something off the new Kentucky Boy album. That's my newest solo release. I did that with um, Georgia-based producer Spoke Wheel. For anybody who's heard my Cosmic Country album or Dramaturgy, or the No Record Deal album. That's all done with um, Jay Smedge. He's a producer out of uh, Georgia who I've been working with over the past few years. And that's our newest project. It's called Kentucky Boy. I hope y'all like that. That's on my band camp. It's on Spotify and all that um, now. Uh, so one thing I've been doing over this um, quarantine is finally taking the time to upload and submit all of my whole dub tape records catalog that's everything basically everything that's been done since like 2006 I swear uh is now been submitted to all of the online stores and is live on there so that's google play spotify youtube weezer title Apple Music, um, just about everyone that you can think of, Amazon, anywhere that you can purchase music, follow an artist, or stream an artist, finally I got my whole catalog up there, it took me forever, it's one good thing about this whole quarantine, I had some free time to do that, so basically if you're familiar with any of my side projects, or any of my solo material, it's out there now. It has its own Spotify. It's available to purchase, to stream, whatever. So that goes for the Basement Upstairs music. A lot of y'all may know that was my original rap group. Um, I was with them and helped create them for the first 10 years of my career. Big shout out to all of them. Scott Ashburn, James Williams, Nathan Graham, Aaron Ritchie. Big shout out to all my old school homies. Um, of course, all that music was done on Dub Tape Records, which is my brand and my label. And so now there's a, a Spotify station for all for the Basement Upstairs music, all the music that I was a part of back then. It's out there. The Feel Good Music album, all those classic tracks, the Frank Town and In the KY, and all those old songs that we used to we used to play out around town. All that's out there, which I'm really happy about. That that was a beautiful part of my um, past and career. And so all that Basement Upstairs music is out there now. It's, yeah, so if you're a fan of that, my first rap group, go out there and search it out, check it out, follow it on Spotify. Um, finally got it up there, so all that's up there. Also, me and my brother, Thomas Arnwan, a.k.a. Decipher, finally got our uh, music out there and got our name branded. So it's under Ex Libris. That's X, like the letter space libris l-i-b-r-i-s and that stands for out of the books and that is me and my brother the cyphers project and now that's out there as well 
Straight underground hip hop for all y'all hip hop heads. Also, my juxtaposed group that a lot of y'all might know, my rap rock group that I did with Chad Hupp. Um, we had hip hop albums and we also had a rap metal band for several years. All the juxtaposed music is out there now. If y'all are y'all are familiar with that sound that me and Chad put together, there you go. All out, three or four albums that we did. It's all out there now. Also, my Embercast group that I did with Brian Samples, which was also we did recordings as a duet, but we also had a band there for a long time. All that music is out there. So the Embercast out, the albums are out there, and also I had a project with Billy Dunnigan entitled The Menu. A lot of y'all may know Billy from uh, Frankfurt. All these guys are from Frankfurt that I that I collaborate with and did these projects. The that album's out there. So so basically, you have albums upon albums of my own solo material, but then you also have Ex Libris, Juxtapose, Embercast, Basement Upstairs, The Menu, all my side projects. All that music is out there now. So no matter if you go to Amazon or Google Play or Spotify and you type those in. They're going to be available now to follow or to download or to stream, whatever you like to do. I, I, even if you just uh, jump on Spotify and follow those channels and put them on your playlist, it's all out there now. It took me forever. It took me many moons, but I got it out there, and every day I'm getting notifications in my email that another album is going live on another streaming service, and I'm super excited. Um, we're talking about a lot of music. Probably... Mm, give or take probably close to about 40 albums to be honest there's about 40 albums out there right now um, it's basically the whole dub tape records catalog since 2005 2006 2007 a lot of the music has been remastered been remixed it sounds better than the the original uh, it took me a long time but it's out there and so that includes Damn near every song that I've ever done with anybody from all over America and Canada. You know, like, so much so much talent. Like, this one reason I'm so adamant about promoting this music is not just for me to be heard or for you to just be a hybrid fan. It's not that. It's that, that one of the things that I try to do in music was collaborate and work with so many people. And not just rappers, but singers and and drummers and guitar players and um, different engineers and producers from all over the world. So all of those people are on all these albums too, you know. And we're talking about, you know, people from all over. People that may never be heard again or people that deserve to be heard. And uh, not to mention my Dove Tape Records uh, camp in which I had it at one time. So all those artists and all those projects and all those collaborations are finally available to stream and purchase. So, I just uh, I appreciate if anybody seeks that stuff out, follows on Spotify, or I don't know, saves it in their favorites, or just streams a few songs and forgets about it, you know, whatever. But it's all on YouTube now. Every album has its own playlist. Um, every group has its own Spotify. You know, all of the music's available on Amazon and Google and Tidal, and no matter what you use, it's out there. So took me a long time and I'm really excited about that so yeah whatever you use especially now you know any any financial um, support is always appreciated you know we're a lot of starving artists out there right now um, and so you know all that that goes into keeping it going and it's just a it's just a thanks for and um, you know I'm grateful for all of it but uh, anyway I appreciate everybody coming in and clocking into my um, live feed I'm gonna ramble on for a little bit longer. I got a lot of a lot of different stuff that I wanted to talk about. Um, so far, I just uh, spoke on the coronavirus. If you missed it earlier, I just hope everybody stays clean and healthy, makes some positive, conscious changes in their life. Whether that be, you know, whatever that is to you, whatever you think, whatever your higher calling is telling you. Um, but just be just be aware, you know, be watchful. Um, Check out what's going on in the world and locally and, and check on your people. Check on your loved ones. Um, and take care of yourself. And don't let the fear drive you insane 
and break down your immune system and make you even more likely to get sick because that's what happens with anxiety. But anyway, and uh, also I, I, earlier I thanked everybody who's been uh, checking up on me since I had a, a few problems in my own life with health and things like that. I'm doing amazing now. Uh, you know, thank thank the Lord, thank the angels, and thank all my friends and family and fans. I, I just really wanted to take the time to do that because life's been real good lately. But anyway, yeah, so I'm really excited about some things. I'm, I'm building a second dub tape studio. Um, this, this studio, the focus is not just recording vocals and songs, but it's doing more filming. It's doing more... Um, podcast type work vlogging I'm gonna have some uh, some musical software and get back to doing some beat making uh, a lot of y'all might know that that's how I got my start was making beats for my um, for people around me you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna get back to that I'm really excited about getting plugged back in making music not just recording vocals but actually making music I'm also gonna be doing a lot of uh, one of the things I'm going to do is uh, reaction videos, you know. I'm going to have fun with that. Yeah, I, I'm going to use my reaction videos a little differently. I'm going to do it not only just to act a fool and have fun, but also to put out artists that I enjoy and that I'm close with and to shine a little light on a lot of underground people and to do reaction videos on songs that people might have not heard before, and not just famous songs. I'm tired of the famous people getting all the credit. What I think. But anyway, I'm gonna take a little break, a little breather. Stick with me. Let me let me play a little something off of. Uh, yeah, this is a plug in. Uh, plug in me and Soulistics album. A lot of y'all might know. I just did an album with a, a really talented producer slash MC slash engineer in Detroit named Soulistic. Hope he's watching. This is for you. This is some off our new album. I'll play a little clip of it. Um, the album drops pretty soon. Y'all hear that? He be killing it. Hold the covers, and we try to make it back one day, but it's hard when I look in your face and lie. Always try to find some faith inside. Time to go ahead and just take this ride. Never ask why, never ask to. I feel dead inside it. I don't have this hook though. I don't know who this girl is. He ain't singing up, but she killed it. Give it a second. Yeah, that song's hot. So yeah, the album's almost done. It's in its final master out of Chicago, uh, by owner owned by a guy named William Wilson. It's called Touch Records or Touch Music Group, and I have um, I've released a few remixes of some songs with them so far. But what we're, we're doing right now is uh, kind of in a rebranding stage because the music I do with them is totally different. It's a totally different sound, totally different vibe and persona. And we're kind of in a rebranding stage where we're about to start dropping some singles. So I wanted to plug them in and give them a shout out. Got a lot of really cool music coming out with them. We've got about 15 songs that uh, nobody's heard yet, including some remixes of some of my other songs. And we're in the process of um, kind of rebranding and coming with a new approach. It's uh, going to be a whole nother lane for my music, a whole nother crowd of people, a whole nother scene, a whole nother style, totally different production. So, I'm looking forward to that. So, big shout out to William Wilson and Scott Oliver, uh, the main two producers for Touch Music Group. I'll be um, dropping some new material with them over this next year or two. Um, yeah, so, I appreciate y'all sticking around. I know I'm kind of rambling, but I, there's some things I wanted to talk about. Um, and, you know, like I was talking about earlier, building the new studio so with that being said I'm gonna be shooting a lot more music videos 
Uh, I'm going to be doing a podcast. Also, you know, reaction videos and vlogs. Doing a lot more film and photo editing. Um, interviews and then continuing to do things with my Dub Tape TV brand. Um, it's sort of an extension to the record label, but it's uh, more for um, you know visuals and um, media and and not just songs, but actually marketing, promoting, and also other types of arts. So that that second studio is going to be really dope. It's gonna I'm going to have the ability to pretty much do anything and um, work with some different videographers like I am now, including Chris Easterly. Um, uh, there's a younger guy in Frankfurt named Michael Sneed that I'm working with. He actually just uh, edited my um, Player's Redemption video. Um, he's also doing one right now called Rap Star that's off the new Effort album. I was filming today with Chris Easterly for a song off the Effort album. And then we have two other videos off the Effort album that have already been, um, we've begun and already started on them. So essentially this new, uh, this new studio that I'm building is actually going to be able to harness all of that. It's going to be more than just recording song after song after song. We're going to be dropping a lot more material, a lot more visuals, and which I'm really excited about. Um, I love making the music videos. I love giving them to y'all. seems like people take them a little bit more serious um, and tend to give the song a listen when they normally might not. You know, that's just how it goes. Um, and, you know, it really gives me a chance to explore just the whole liberal arts of, of music in general, you know, uh, visual and photography and, and acting and, and production and you know, all that. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about the second studio. And uh, sorry, I, I've been kind of overlooking a lot of the comments. I get to get to babbling and everything. I, I appreciate everybody who's been um, checking this out. And um, I hope everybody can hear me and it's not falling on deaf ears. Like I said, I'm also filming and I'm going to put this on um, YouTube later on, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take a breather, get a drink, and play something from the Kentucky Boy album. How about that? Let's try this one. Yeah, I see you, Brandy, and I really want to say what's up, and uh, I really do appreciate all your promotion you've been doing for me on Instagram and Facebook. It's really awesome how you um, you promote for so many independent artists. Uh, it's really rare and a thankless job, and I want to thank you for that. And I still plan on sending you a package of a lot of merch and everything. Actually, I got I finally got copies of the Chris Hybrid album. Um, I was pushing this album really hard, and then you know things popped up in life, and uh, I kind of got knocked out of my rhythm, so I just sort of let this album uh, fall by the wayside, but I did order a, about 100 copies of it, and um, if you want a hard copy of this, contact me. Of course, the album is online already, so uh, I was really proud of this album. Uh, Young Rip from Atlanta, a good friend of mine, Lance Motes, aka Young Rip, he produced this whole album. There's not one feature on it. Me and this guy just cooked this whole album up, and uh, really proud of it. We dropped it, we you know, and we're getting a lot of good feedback. And then we sort of uh, we both got busy, the world got crazy. You know how it goes. So I don't want this album to completely die. This was a cool project, and really proud of it. Big shout out to Young Rip for all his time and energy into making these beats. If you want a hard copy of this, holler at me directly. Uh, I can mail these, we can meet up if you're around the Frankfurt area, and then no matter what you may use for your streaming services or online, this album's out there, it's called Chris Hybrid, it's a pretty cool solo, 
There's no features on it. Basically, me and the producer just went nuts on there and had a blast and cooked up a cool project. So, yeah. Um, also, I still got copies of the Method to the Madness movie soundtrack. Um, this is not music that's on the movie. It's music that go with the movie. It's, it's music that tell the same story that the movie tells. It's a genuine soundtrack. It, it goes with the theme of the actual movie. See, a lot of people thought that this project was just the music on the movie, but actually the music on the movie is totally different. So really, if you've watched the documentary and you haven't heard this, you should because this goes with it, but it's different. So it's kind of like a... Um, a double feature so yeah I've got hard copies of this one also that's out there on all the social media I, I was plugging the movie earlier make sure you go watch it you don't have to pay for it anymore you can go straight to YouTube my hybrid the rapper channel just type in hybrid the rapper method to the madness and it's there for free free streaming big shout out to Chris Easterly it was good to see you today we was filming a new video but Chris Easterly did an amazing job on the movie and I appreciate everybody that was part of this the soundtrack this one actually has a lot of cool features on it I uh, also big shout out to spoke wheel also still have copies of cosmic cosmic country which uh, a lot of people really dug this album um, we had several music videos from this uh, if you follow my music videos you've probably heard a lot of these songs we did one for Cosmic Country, we did one for Radio, The Bluegrass, Downstream, Deserve Better, Sun Goes Down, Her Song, It Ain't Right, Pray For Me. All those were music videos and all those songs are featured on the Cosmic Country album. So definitely if you're into the sort of southern rock, country, R&B, hip hop sound, um, I kind of like to think of it as like soulful country rap. I don't like to think of it as hip hop. I don't really, it's not really the hip hop type of vibe. It's a little bit more soulful and, and, uh, ah, soulful is a good word. It's not all drinking beer and field party type music. It's just definitely, uh, more humanistic. So anyway, this album is out there Spotify, Bandcamp. Google, Amazon, all that good stuff. Wherever y'all do music, or wherever y'all get your music at, all these projects are there now. The last album I want to plug and talk about briefly is uh, the Effort album. This one hasn't dropped yet. This drops May 23rd of next month. Well, in about a month exactly. Um, this is my baby. This album. Um, I did at Rick Osborne Studio at EKO Studios in Frankfort, Kentucky. Big shout out to Rick Osborne. He's an amazing musician and engineer and overall musical soul. I got to work with him. This is the first album I ever did. The first solo album I ever did at another studio. So I kind of went into this knowing I didn't have to press buttons. I didn't have to do all the mixing and mash. I go into the, that album strictly as a lyricist and a writer. And um, just focus on that. And, of course, he has an amazing setup, amazing capabilities over there. A lot of talent coming in and out. So we got a, we got a wide array of opinions and, and skill sets to work with. I used a producer, um, I believe it was from Sweden, named Frig Van Werkum. He's a top-notch Grammy Award winner producer. And he produced the whole album. And... It tells a story. It's, it's cohesive. The whole album goes together. It's not just a collection of songs. It's an actual theme. Um, when this album drops, I really hope y'all take time to go watch it and ch or to go listen and check it out. I'm supposed to have an album release party at the Brick Alley on May 23rd. I'm not sure if they're going to be open, but the way it's looking, probably not. So, um, regardless. The album is scheduled to still drop online that same day. So whether the Brick Alley is open or not, effort drops on May 23rd. 
and I really hope y'all check it out. If you want to pre-order a CD from me, a hard copy, just hit me up directly on Facebook. I can send them straight straight to your house. Uh, if you want to, I, I give package deals. If you want to buy all the albums, any support is appreciated. Obviously, money's hard to come by nowadays for everybody. So, love. I appreciate all the love. If you do want to support and donate. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of this album, and uh, I hope y'all check it out. I'm gonna be creating all sorts of music videos for it, and I'm, you're gonna hear a lot more about it. I got respect, yeah, but my goal is to keep it always passed out my demos and leaked it, it ain't no secret. So hop in, strapped on, we locked in, let's go. To the top ten, we back up to clock in next show. <laughs> yeah, I just like playing little snippets for y'all. Um, but I'm going to try to start going live a little bit more. Like I said, I'm in the process of building the Dub Tape TV studio, so I'm going to have all sorts of uh, different type of media and music videos and vlogs and podcasts and reaction videos and interviews coming soon so anytime you see dub tape tv or dub tape records that's my brand that's my label so that it's it's all the same you know so those that's it's all under the same umbrella and um like i said earlier I'm, i'll recap like i said about the coronavirus you know I, I know that's the hot topic right now but it ain't the end of the world Hopefully things pass, things can, if they don't get exactly back together, at least you keep your life together in the process. Be healthy. Whoop. Stay connected with your loved ones. Don't just forget about everybody and become some introverted hermit. You know, check on your people. Um, don't let this, don't be so compliant that you just forget about the connectedness between human beings. Uh, you know, don't let this shit get you so scared that you just wither away and, you know, clam shut, you know. Build up your immune system, clean up your diet, research, you know, study up, do replace bad habits with good ones. What, whatever it may be, whatever you, you feel like is in your nature and you would feel more like some sort of path to self-discovery, whatever that is to you, higher calling, some sort of uh, uh, rebuilding a, of your mind and heart and body, whatever, use it as that a time for that. Not just a, a time to just shut down and, and lay down and die. You know what I'm saying? But if anybody's been affected directly, a loved one, or you've had the sickness, or you know somebody that has it, um, or your, your job shut down, you can't work financially, you know, my thoughts go to you. Things can get better. Use your imagination. Think about ways to stay afloat and don't give up you know what i'm saying just work harder and and keep striving you know that's our that's our most deepest truest uh sense sense is is survival so you know don't just lay down but anyway yeah, so I'm going to recap everything. Uh, like I was saying earlier, the whole Dub Tape Records catalog, all my side projects, all of my albums, my mixtapes, everything is finally out there. Um, that goes for Ex Libris, my project with my brother. That goes for my original rap group, Basement Upstairs. That goes for my rap rock duet with Brian Samples called Embercast. That goes with the juxtaposed music, the menu that I do with Billy Dunnigan. All of that music is finally out there. Each group has its own Spotify. Every album's on Amazon, Google Play, iTunes, Apple Music, Tidal, Weezer, everything. So, whatever you use, please follow me. Um, feel free to purchase anything, share anything, stream all day long. I am finally feel so relieved that all that music is out there. And, of course, you can go to Bandcamp and get all of it. And that, that's a great way to support because you can join my fan club. They have a, um, and that's www.hybridtherapper.bandcamp.com. Um, it's a very artist friendly website. It's like an artist just having their own website and catalog 
right there for you. It's clean, it's easy to maneuver around. You can download the music directly to your phone or your desktop. Um, it's a great site. You can actually purchase my whole discography on there for like 50% off or something like that. They, they have that, that offer on there. And you don't have to do it all at once. You can just do an album a day or you know a song at a time, whatever you want. So yeah, it's one of the reasons I made this video is to just let y'all know that all that's finally out there. From my newest music to my oldest music, it's all out there. And like I said, I had some trials and tribulations in, in December. And I wanted to thank everybody personally who's been praying for me and helping me out and blessing me. I, I don't want you to think that I just, uh, it's not unseen or unheard. And so, thanks y'all. Everybody stay safe. I'm gonna get out of here. I've been battling for too long. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, just, uh, I know I just kinda, you know, did this on a whim, but I, I felt like I finally needed to. And if anybody's interested in, you know, these new projects, I got four different hard copies of some of my best work. Um, if you want to order those to me and support, I can, I can, we can work something out where I can meet you uh, if you're in the, around this area or I can mail them directly to your doorstep and maybe throw in some other merch as well. Um, hopefully I can do the album release party on May 23rd at the Brick Alley in Frankfurt. If not, the album's still going to drop, the effort album's still going to drop that day. Stay in tune and in touch with me, y'all. I got a lot of cool music videos coming. I'm really excited about. I appreciate everybody who's show, been sharing the songs, and liking the songs, and the pics, and the posts, and, and all that good stuff. Um, I don't think I don't notice. If I, if I don't respond to you directly, I still appreciate it, and I'm grateful for all y'all joining in on this experience. And just remember that just, you know, just remember that <laughs> some people are normal people having an amazing experience, but there's a lot of amazing ex amazing people that are just having normal experiences. And what I feel like is I'm just a normal person having an amazing experience, and I appreciate y'all joining in on it. And thank you for being here. Much love. Everybody, please stay safe. Like I said, check on your loved ones. Don't forget about everybody else out of fear. Don't don't let the social distancing just make you distant in general, you know. Um, but anyway, I'll be coming back pretty soon to um, do another live video, and I appreciate it again. I know I said it a hundred times, but I gotta go. Thanks for being here, y'all.